We're going to go ahead and show you how to completely disassemble and reassemble your uh, Type 56 SKS. This will translate to just about any SKS out there that has a fixed magazine. There will be subtle differences for bayonets, um, things like that. But other than that, it's pretty much the same. As always, guys, at the end, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, go ahead and let me know. I'll do my best to help you out with your questions. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. All so right. let's get into the breakdown here. The first thing you're going to do, obviously, is check and make sure that your rifle is unloaded. Lock it back. Um, check your magazine. Make sure it's unloaded as well. Once we do that, we're going to let the bolt go forward. And this little uh, lever here, we're going to pull that up. And we're going to work it out. Just be careful. Some of these SKSs are sprung really, really tight. So uh, when, you, when you're when you wiggling this out, it can... Uh, just shoot out at you, so just make sure you keep your thumb on the, the, back, the back cover here, or the dust cover. Pull that out, pull our spring out, and uh, we're going to take our bolt and bolt carrier out. They disassemble just like this. You can see there. Alright, I'm going to take those out. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to work up here on the front of the gun. You need to pull this lever up on my gun because it's so beat up, it can just go up by hand. If you can't get it by hand, just go ahead and use a screwdriver and just kind of pull it up a little bit. And we're going to take our piston system off, our gas piston system. It moves just like this, you see here. <laughs> and also there is another spring in there. I'll go ahead and show you. And another piston in there, right in there. And the way to get that off is again, we're going to cover it with our thumbs because it's under spring tension. And just keep pulling this up until it shoots out. So pull that lever out. And there you go. That's the part. Alright, so really, I mean, that's really all you're going to need to do for a basic cleaning, but that's not what we're doing. We're doing a detail strip here, so go ahead and flip the gun over. And uh, what I do is I put a, uh, a block of wood here so as not to damage the sights, so that way the gun's not resting on the sights. Just like that. And uh, I'm going to zoom in here for you. This little button right here, that's what we're going to push to get the uh, trigger group out. To do that, you got to make sure the gun is on safe. So again, that, that's fire. That's safe for those of you that are new to the platform. You're just going to go ahead and push down on it kind of hard until you hear it pop. That one didn't pop too much, but you see it comes out. We go ahead and remove our trigger group here. And our magazine should come out. Some of them, if you pull on the front, they come out easier. Some of them, if you pull on the back, they come out easier. You just got to kind of figure it out with your gun. That's the magazine. And uh, once we have it down to that point, you go ahead and extend your bayonet. If you don't have a bayonet on your SKS, well then just skip this part, but this one does. So go ahead and extend the bayonet. Excuse me, I did that backwards. Extend it out and take your uh, cleaning rod out. Like that. Because this is what uh, secures the cleaning rod in there. And then we are going to just take our receiver right out. So, that's it. That is the disassembly of your SKS. Doesn't really get down any further than that. Now for reassembly, we're just going to go in the opposite order that we just went in. So go ahead and put your receiver back on your stock. And uh, what you want to do there is just make sure you're getting in there with your uh, retainer. Put it back in. I'll set it upside down. Use that wood block again. We'll get our uh, cleaning rod back in. I'll show you how that works there. For those of you guys that don't know, it goes right through your bayonet. Your bayonet's got to be out like this because that's what's going to retain it. Put that back in your stock. Get it back in there. Your bayonet down so it retains it. I'm gonna put our magazine back in the opposite way we went in. You can see there, there's kind of like a little hinge piece there. Well, that that there's a piece right in your receiver that you'll see as soon as you look in there. And you're just gonna click it just like that to get our trigger group back in there. You see here we have a, a little hinge right on our uh, trigger group. And you'll also notice that conveniently there is a little pin right there in your uh, receiver, and that's what's gonna click into. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, just push that in so that way it lines up nicely just like that we're just going to push down on it you want to be on a stable surface which is kind of questionable that we have here but you're just going to push it straight down until it clicks and there you go clicks in you're good to go and uh, we'll start doing the upper go ahead and we'll put our uh, little piston back in here it's just like the opposite of what you did to get it out so you're going to push it in there, and uh, you got to hold it in while you push this, uh, while you pull this pin backwards, or lever backwards, I should say, excuse me. And there you go. 
it's retained right in there. And we'll get our piston back in. It only goes in one way, guys. So you'll see it comes out the back there. You're good there. You're gonna go ahead and put it right in your uh, gas block there in your barrel. And then we're gonna push it down. Some of those it's harder than others. We're gonna push this lever all the way back down until it engages that detent right there. That's the detent you want it in. Okay. Now we're gonna do our uh, bolt and bolt carrier. Some people can do these separately, meaning you put your bolt in like that, and then you put your bolt carrier in like that. Oops. And that's fine. If that's how you want to do it, that's the way you can do it. I like to put them together myself, so that way you know that they're uh, mated together properly. And the way you do that is just like that. Put them right all the way in the rear of your uh, receiver. And once you get it so that it can slide forward, you're just going to go ahead and slide it all the way forward. You need to have your magazine open to do that. Slide it all the way forward. Now we're going to put the uh, spring on. A lot of people get this wrong, guys. The squiggly end is the end that goes in first. Just remember that. Squiggly end in first. And what you're going to do is you're going to push it so it retains itself on that rear spot right there on the receiver. Just like that, so that way it's held in place by that little notch in the receiver. We'll put our dust cover in there. You got to make sure this is pulled all the way up. Put our dust cover in there. And push our pin in. Retaining pin. And some are tighter than others. Push that down so it goes in the detent. Close your or a rack here a couple times and you'll hear that spring. It comes right off. That's what it is. The spring's coming off that ledge we had it on. Close it up. And now we are just going to do a basic functions test, guys. Check, make sure it's unloaded. It is. You got to open the magazine to get it to go forward again. Pull the trigger. Open the magazine again. Make sure your trigger resets. It does. And that is your uh, disassembly and reassembly of our SKS Type 56 in this case.